headed against an odd defense. Now I've got an even defense, right? Everyone on the team thinks is down except this quarterback. This quarterback's the only one that knows if he's going to keep it or not. And while he's doing the two heel clicks and shuffling his feet, he's going to read this Hain player. If the Hain player comes cheating in, I've got the line drawn up. The guard just will use his technique against him and log him or kick. Obviously, if he sees the log, quarterback's going to pull, and we can pitch off of that. If you want to free, right, obviously, we could run it on balance and bring our split in over in a heavy call and, and, and just let the quarterback run free and not even worry about it. So I don't have any pearls of wisdom with you. This, it's really that easy. And our kids have read it at gain speed flawlessly. It's been really, really good for us. And again, you know, this is why you're in pistol. This long ride and decide, this long heel click action right here, you know, gives you more time to read it and gives him more time to, to make the wrong decision. Okay, the play we used to run that was down 36-0, classic down play, the right guard's gonna pull. We're gonna read the fold player here. Here though, he's inside shade, so he's a, he's a, a seven technique on the tight end, so tight end's gonna down block it, so the guard would normally kick this player out. If the player folds or really squeezes down hard or blitzes, making the kick out hard, the guard just logs him, quarterback sees that, he can pull it and read it. So we get our classic down blocks, no problem, right half will get this backer, but this could be a kick or a log now, and I don't have to wait and call down option. In fact, down option and belly option doesn't exist in my playbook anymore. So let's read that full player, coaches. Quarterback does a good job shuffling his feet. It does bring him in, and the quarterback pulls it. Got to get that long shuffle into line of scrimmage. Oh, that's a really good fake there. He still gave it because the outside linebacker didn't fold. Okay, now let's look at a 4-3 defense. So there is no outside linebacker. There's a safety, and um, we're not going to read our safety. So here, we're just going to read this DN because our tight end obviously will go get the, the strong side sand back in this 4-3. So the guard's supposed to kick out this DN, but if the DN squeezes, which a well-coached DN will, we'll log it and just pull it, which means we're going to pitch off that safety, which means we're going to pitch off the safety. I didn't have enough... Uh, I should have had a safety in here and had our quarterback practicing pitching. It's a great ride. He really rides it in there, pulls it, and he'd be pitching off the safety coming down here right now. Here's another look. The DN does not squeeze in, so the quarterback makes the right read and gives it. Okay, coaches, now let's take a look at bringing it down at the D-line level with the tackle trap. And basically, whoever is going to chase your pulling tackle, um, that's who we're going to read. We used to block away and, and seal that guy so we can get a free release. Well, again, not only do we now put a kid in conflict, but now we get another hat on backer. So, um, you know, it's pretty self-explanatory. Now, obviously because of the tackle trap, the quarterback can't shuffle his feet. He's just gonna open, basically do his arm movement, right? And then here comes, and then here comes the tackle trap and then he's gotta make that decision whether or not when he pull, does this, if he's gonna leave it out there for the tackle trap guy or go. Um, if you have a really good mesh where the tailback is here, when the option guy's here and you got a good line of sight, then your quarterback can really get away with that. If your mesh is off and he's here, it won't be as deceptive and you may not have him do the, 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 the long pull. Okay, so with the tackle trap, I mean, there it is. I mean, if it was an even defense, it'd be the same concept. You're going to have, always have some sort of kid on your weak side D-tackle. It's either going to be a DN or a tackle in a 3-3 or a 3-4 or a DN in a four-man front. I mean, this will change, but we, we always double the first man inside the hole anyways.